Alright, welcome back. So, you're probably wondering what all this mess is. This is 10 alpha buildings with 6 medium wide, the landscape, to give us 60 total billboards because I am doing the test to find out just how many video billboards you can place of any determinate size and we're going to go through it. It's going to be a lot. Now, when I was doing this testing, you see it's a little jittery. The dev jumped into Discord. Great. It was awesome to hear from him. And we found out that these are in multiples of 512. So what that means is it's 1024 this way by 512 this way. If you look at the different sizes here, again, I may be missing a size or two here because I don't have everything unlocked. This small one is 512 by 512. This medium is 512 by 512. The extra large is 1024 by 1024. That makes the landscape 1024 this way, 512 this way. It makes the vertical, both medium and large, 512 wide, 1024 tall. So if I place this medium, and I place this large right next to it, well, we should probably change those images. These two images are the exact same resolution. That's something to keep in mind when you're placing your pictures and when you're placing your videos. Now, I have already updated the thread on Steam and on Reddit to showcase this, and uh, I will continue updating. So this is going to be a fairly long video, I think. I'm going to put timestamps. This is what we got for the baseline test at 1440p, which now I know is completely ridiculous. You're not seeing all that resolution. They're being downscaled. 19 is the maximum. When I had 20, at some point, a few of these eyeballs just stayed closed forever and they never opened back up. At that size of resolution, which is twice, more than twice, what these can even handle, three times or something, 19 is the max. So I'll keep doing this with each one. I'll come in here with the more appropriate size and probably say like a minimum size and we'll see just how far we can get. Uh, as we found out before, 360p is really not that bad. It looks pretty much the same as all the rest. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. Now you can see we have a whole lot more this time and these are much better in sync until the eyeballs close then it's a little weird. This is 720p, so a much more reasonable resolution for what these billboards can actually display. And I was able to get 40, 40. Now I'll, I'll put down there in the description, but this is based off of, I have a 13900K processor. I've got a 4070 Ti Super with 32 gig of RAM. This is an NVMe drive. And I'm doing this at 1440p, 144 hertz on a 32 inch monitor. So if your specs are lower, I have not tested that yet. I've reached out to a few people to see if they've got uh, closer to like the um, system requirements or system recommended to see if that's going to make a difference too. I'll send them the files and see what they can come up with. But 40, so at 720p, I tried 42. And as soon as I put those two on, this cell here and this, this pair just died. They just stopped functioning. So 40 if you want 720p on your images. We are now going to look at 480p. Now this is uh, 480p in, or 480 NTSC DV. You are looking at 64 total images. Uh, this one was a little bit of a surprise. I would have expected there to be a little bit less, but this is the size that consumes the entire container. There's no letterboxing of any kind. So if you want the most full image of your billboard while not losing too much in the resolution capability of said billboard, being this is 1024 by 512, then 480p is probably going to be your choice. We are on 360p and there's a heap and lot. I had to add an 11th tower. So there are 63. Sync is decent. Again, it's not that that matters because of where you're going to be sitting, but <laughs> I have to zoom way out. And bear in mind, the way I do these tests is I'll come over here, I'll zoom way in, 
I'll really cause problems with the system. You know, move it around quickly, zoom it out. I'll sit here and let it run for 10, 20 minutes just to see if any of these stop as they're going along. They all seem fine. When you're putting a bunch of different uh, videos on these in various places all around your city, assuming you even have 63 video billboards, because you're going to want pictures too, this is a lot. We are now doing the actual container size, 1024 by 512. And you can see I have 64. So this is uh, 648 kilobytes for this um, like 11 second file. And if I try to go to 65, it's just black screen, anything beyond that. And I'm gonna show you what this does. You'll notice it's letterboxing at top and bottom. So you're getting a smaller image than say that of the 480p. While I could get one more than the 360p, the 360p is actually a little bit larger image. So, do you need one more, honestly? Now that we have seen how many of each size you can fit with your billboards, now granted this is on my PC specs, uh, I'm still looking for someone that has closer to the minimum to find out if their PC specs are the same. We are gonna look at this comparison right here. I'm gonna toss up on the screen what they are uh, so you can get a good visual plus how many you can fit on each of these so we are 720p this here on this first column 720p is going to give you the absolute highest possible resolution because it exceeds the container then we move to the actual resolution now you get letterbox with 720p top and bottom I should state you get letterbox with this clip that I'm using because this clip is from Blade Runner and it is a letterboxed film, a uh, scope film. Then the actual correct container size, 1024 by 512. So you are not losing any resolution, but you are losing a lot of actual real estate on the screen. It is the smallest image of them all. Then we move to 480. This is 480 NTSC DV. Yeah, that's one of the exports in DaVinci Resolve. 480p, it's probably going to be very, very similar. This gives you the maximum real estate. There is no letterboxing of any kind with this. That is probably because it's maxing out uh, and we're losing a little bit. It's really hard to tell because it's in moving image but we are potentially losing a little bit of video information on the sides because it's maxim maximizing top and bottom. Then 360p. Now, based off of our sizes, I'm saying 480p is the winner. You use 64 of them. It looks just as good as 720 does. To my mind's eye, maybe I'm wrong. I think it looks just as good. It maximizes your screen better you don't have to fuddle with this weird oh, I got to change it to 1024 by 512 and I got to worry about it just make it 480p pretty much every software has that capability and you're good to go you probably even do it on, on those online video converters and there you go I, I'm saying 480p is the winner 360 if you really 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 want uh, you to go as far as you possibly can uh, but I was able to get one more out of 480 than I could out of 360, so weird. Uh, yeah, take that for what it is. Thanks for watching.